90 guys, three days, no phones. It was inspiring to see how beneficial it was for the guys to be disconnected for a couple of days. The trip was amazing, I loved it. The trip was amazing. Definitely shifted my perspective on a lot. It, it allowed me to really interact with my friends. Going on the hike with no phones, just your friends, just you, good conversation, nature, Hashem. It was just an amazing time. Everyone's around to have a conversation. Everyone's ready to, ready to talk or ready to listen. I had a connection with the guys, we're talking, we're schmoozing, it was amazing. The trip was really amazing. It felt really good to just disconnect from my phone for a little bit. Definitely good to just kind of put, put that aside and really focus on myself, focus on bonding with the guys. Getting to my Madrachim a little better, getting to my Rebbeim with the families a little better. It was just really nice. Unlike any other Gesher trip we've had. Handing the phone over was, uh, it was like I was handing over uh, one of my prized possessions. I was definitely nervous, a little anxious, but it was a sense of relief once I finally gave it over and it left my hand. I was a bit nervous how I would be able to get through three days without a phone. You know, normally you have your phone every day, you have access to it. As someone in China Bet, I felt like the China Bet guys had a lot more pressure, like the off guys are doing it, then for sure the China Bet guys are gonna have to do it. But I was actually genuinely pretty happy to, to go without my phone for a few days. I was sitting towards the front of the bus, and I turned around to see what other guys doing without their phones. And it was amazing. Guys were actually talking to each other. Sat next to someone who I, I really didn't know from before, and I like sparked up a conversation, and we got to talk, and we had a lot of common interests and time just started to fly. When no one had their phones, it really led to some interesting conversation. You got to meet different people from different backgrounds, get some interesting perspective on things, and it just helped me get to know everybody around me so much better. It wasn't even a thought on our minds because we were so busy with rafting and land hikes and paintball. The only thing in the world that mattered was whatever book you were reading, whatever friends you were talking to, whatever they had to say, and that really brought our community together. It really surprised me how much easier it was than I expected. And through being on this trip, I realized that everybody was putting themselves more out there. We have all these connections over our phone, over social media. We don't realize what the true connections are until we have a time away from that. There was a mutual understanding and a mutual excitement to really hear about all that other people had to offer whether it be their passions, their goals, their past. It was also something that everyone was so excited to share. How could you not meet them with that same energy? This challenge definitely brought me out of my comfort zone. I think that overcoming challenge is kind of a, a microcosm of what we're trying to do at Yeshiva. Whether or not you've never touched a Gemara in your life or you've been learning Gemara your entire life, Yeshiva is all about pushing your boundaries and overcoming new challenges. And I think that this weekend was just like a, a small version of that. If you have the internal drive and the internal happiness and internal yearning to be happy, you'll find it no matter where you are or what you're doing.